Okay, we're working a fish that we almost lost. This is an abuna. Uh, Labiotrophus fulibarni. Uh, this is our, uh, what we call our blue marmalade strain. The males are blue and, and OB. The females are kind of gold and OB. Yes, ma'am, I'll look at the camera. I'm looking at the fish. Uh, the OB pattern is dominant. Uh, and so this strain sometimes throws blues. And here I'm going to show you the, this is one of our breeder males now. We were down to uh, just a handful of juveniles. They're just starting to breed. Uh, they, I, I put all, all of them we had in a 300 gallon breeding vat and uh, let them grow up and start breeding. This is a typical female. This one's a little bit golder than normal, but you see she has an OB. And this is a non-OB male. That The barring right now is intensified because he's scared. Uh, he's going to come out of the breeding colony and go back in with blue OBs. The, blue I mean, blue uh, full of Barneys. Uh, uh, blue, because it's a recessive, breeds true. Uh, the only time you can get a dominant gene to breed true is when you get rid of all the recessives in a population. And you can do that by test crossing. We don't do that. We do it by kind of brute force. We let... Uh, we select out all the non-OBs uh, uh, each generation, and, and sooner or later, just by chance, we'll end up with all uh, uh, homozygous OB fish, and then they'll breed true. But it'll take a few generations. But it, uh, in the meantime, they throw some nice blue uh, full of Barneys as well. Okay, I'm going to put these fish up for breeding. Oh, we have... I'm keep, we have 12 young females, counting the two we have in the aquarium, and then, what? I was just trying to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then uh, these are three young males. I'm going to go ahead and put the four males and 12 females in there. That's higher ratio of males to females than I like, but uh, that way we'll, we'll make sure we at least have a male survive. I like this uh, blue OB or this blue marmalade male right here. Uh, he's nice. Uh, he'll, he's the biggest one. He'll do most of the breeding. And the five blues will go in with the uh, blue full of barnies. How many youngsters do you have? Uh, I did not count the youngsters. Yeah, it looks like between 30 and 40 uh, youngsters, these are just starting to reach the size. The females are just now getting big enough to breed. Uh, but the, they have started, and there are some small fry that are left in the 300 gallon aquarium, so they'll have a jump start on this. Uh, within a couple breeding cycles, we should get these guys back up to uh, uh, normal uh, breeding colony size and uh, where we can produce four or 500 fish each, each cycle. Okay, good fish keeping.